This person said, my fiance has a dismissive avoidant attachment style and I am secure attachment. How can I become secure? So I'd love it just if you could maybe break down the difference between dismissive avoidant attachment mm -hmm. and secure attachment. Sure. Yeah. So um, and a person who is avoidantly attached essentially oftentimes like in childhood learned that their parent could not or would not meet their needs. And so they learned essentially they had to meet their needs for themselves. And so they began avoiding attachment. They avoided attachment, avoided connection um, because they learned that there you know, there was basically not a lot of point of that. They weren't going to get their needs met by that person. And so, you know, fast forward 20 years, 30 years, however long, right? Um, life sometimes confirms that, right? Sometimes life can confirm that, you know what, you know, I've I got to look out for number one, you know, that I've got to look out for me because nobody else is going to. And so sometimes life confirms that. And so to the person's question, well, let me go back to secure attachment. So a secure attachment would be um, forms from a great relationship between parent and child um, where parent was, you know, could allow the child to kind of go and be themselves and have fun and be free and do what they needed to do. But if anything was ever wrong or, you know, there was ever a perceived threat in the environment, be it like, you know, monster under my bed or, um, you know, I fell off my bike and scraped my knee, you know, whatever the thing or bully at school, you know, whatever the thing is, that they feel like they can approach their parent and their parent is able to empathize with them, validate their concern, and then help them to kind of move on, kind of give them maybe some action steps or something, right? Yeah. So that creates this really like secure connection. Like I feel very secure in my parents' love, right? Right. So do those attachment styles always kind of, are they always rooted in, you know, what you experienced as a child? Yeah. So attachment styles are always, they always begin in childhood. Now how they show up in relationships can be very different. Sometimes a person who has an avoidant attachment style can be very, ha can be, have like an anxious attachment in a relationship. So it doesn't always go, it's not, it's not always parallel. It's not unchanging, um, but they do develop in childhood and then they will often look different in adulthood. Um, sometimes they're the same, but sometimes they can also shift. So to the person's question. So the person asked, basically, the, the, the partner is avoidant, they're secure, how do I help them become secure? Did I hear that question correctly? Yeah. 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 So I think that part of it is going to be that this, you know, this person has basically learned not to count on anyone and that I can only count on myself, right? And so probably when that conflict happens, they're probably that person that like goes inside the cocoon, they self-protect, right? Because they've, they've always had to self-protect. They go inside the cocoon and they pull away, right? Which is really frustrating, right? For a person who's trying to get like a dialogue going and trying to, you know, they have secure attachment. They're used to being able to talk out their problems. It can be really frustrating when the person just goes away every time there's a conflict. And so I would say that, you know, how do I help him become secure? And I would say one, um, just to be, be patient, right? Because this didn't happen overnight and it's not gonna, it's not gonna be undone overnight. And so I would say part of that is just be gentle and be patient, right? Don't become that angry pursuer we were talking about earlier, right? That we just be angry or just be patient and be gentle and let him kind of come out, show him that it's safe, show him um, that he doesn't have to go behind that self-protective wall, that he can show you his vulnerability and he's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing that I would say in addition to that um, is is that, um, you know, part of it is like that predictability, right? That you, that you're going to be able to meet his needs. He's learned that he had to meet his own needs because no one else could or would. And so you can be the person that shows him that like he, that God did create us for community and that he can have a need met, that he can have a need and he can ask for it to be met and that you can do that for him and that he doesn't have to go this life alone. Um, and so, yeah, I would say, you know, gentleness and patience to show them that it's safe. And then the second thing, yeah, is just to, um, just to help him to see that it's okay to have needs and that you can meet them. Yeah. Yeah. Last question around this, mm -hmm. can an attachment style really be changed or are you just learning to manage what your attachment style is? 
Mm, that's a good question. And I don't know that there's a definitive answer for that, Tori. I, I'm not sure that, that there is a definitive answer to that. But I would say my my gut is to say yes, an attachment style can be changed. Mm. Um, you know, for example, for me, like I met my husband when I was 17 and we got married when I was 19. Um, you know, we've now been together as long as I live my life apart from him, right? So even if I had, and I have another couple that I'm thinking of that have been together for 30 years and they got married really young. So they have really traumatic homes, but they've learned a secure attachment. And so they are very securely attached in their current relationship, right? And so, yes, I would say that attachment can be changed. There is like a I would say there's a transformation process that happens um, that you kind of have to go through. But I would say, yeah, that that it's not we're not so much just managing it as much as we're actually really essentially shifting kind of the core um, of that of that safety and attachment. Mm-hmm.